12 more amazing, helpful and fun facts about Calabria in Italy. The Italian region of Calabria. Calabria is one of Italy's undiscovered regions. Known as the toe of Italy's boot, it's a region that appeals to many people who fully appreciate the get away from it all lifestyle. So, is Calabria the place to discover if this is what the Dolce Vita means to you? To help you find out some surprising answers, watch this second video in this series where you'll discover 12 more amazing, helpful and fun facts about Calabria in Italy. But first, if you want to visit, work and live in Italy, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel that will make your introduction to expat life in Italy and the Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy, just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of helpful ideas for when you visit or consider living in Italy. And now, here are 12 more amazing, helpful and fun facts about Calabria in Italy. Number 13. Reggio Calabria is known as the land of bergamot. The bergamot fruit's orange fragrance is highly sought after by the perfume industry. Bergamot oil is extracted from its peel and is produced for soaps and aromatherapy oils. The manual extraction of the oil started in the 17th century and requires about 200 kilos of the fruit to make one litre of the oil. Number 14. The climate. The summer is hot with an average temperature of about 26 degrees Celsius and it's not unusual for some days to record around 35 degrees. It's best to avoid July and August as Italians and other Europeans visit in large numbers at this time of the year. In the winter, even on the coast, whilst average temperatures are about 12 degrees Celsius, temperatures can still drop to freezing. Snow is the norm in the mountains. Be prepared for a lack of air conditioning and central heating in houses, villas and hotels in both the summer and the winter. The Italian version of siesta, called riposo, takes place in the afternoon, where virtually everything is closed from about midday to 5pm. Number 15. Olive oil. Calabria produces about one third of Italy's olive oil. About 10 million tonnes of olives are produced each year, generating about 140,000 tonnes of extra virgin olive oil, called Calabrian gold and Calabrian green. Over 35% of the oil is now produced organically. Number 16. Airports. There are three international airports in the region at Reggio Calabria, Petone and La Mezzia. Number 17. The coastline. Along both the west coast of the Tyrrhenian Sea and the east coast of the Ionian Sea, Calabria is known for its brawling beaches and dramatic cliffs and coves. Calabria has over 500 miles of coastline with crystal clear turquoise coloured water. On 10th of August every year, many Italians light bonfires on the beach to celebrate the Night of San Lorenzo, called the Night of Wishes, with the sighting of shooting stars by dancing, drinking and singing. Number 18. Calabrian Tarantella. Tarantella is the traditional folk music played at religious and social festivals. Often accompanied by dancers in traditional costumes, the musical instruments are usually made up of the accordion, mandolin and tambourine. The music originated from the 16th century as a cure for frenzied dancing from hysteria caused by a tarantula spider bite. Over the years, it's transitioned into becoming a courtship ritual dance. Number 19. Calabria has style. Gianni Versace was born and raised in Reggio Calabria by his mother Francesca. Francesca was a dressmaker and she mentored Gianni from a young age. The rest, as they say, is history. Number 20. Places to see in Calabria. There are a number of places worth visiting and experiencing, including 1. There are two life-sized Greek bronze statues referred to as the Bronze Riachi Warriors. These were discovered in 1972 off the Ionian coast of Uriachi Marina that are now on display in the National Archaeological Museum in Reggio Calabria. 2. The Summer Evening 
cultural programme of Chitraro. In July and August, Chitraro on the West Coast provides a musical festival with dance and fashion parades, as well as sports competitions amongst the town's districts, preceded by processions and food fairs hosted by the various districts. 3. Go Sailing Calabria's coastline and its present climate makes for ideal sailing conditions, especially from early April to late October. There are 12 good marinas along the coastline, with Vibo Valencia regarded as one of the best in the country. At Vibo, another Calabrian port such as Titraro, Cotoni, Reggio and Tropea, you can charter a yacht and learn to sail. 4. Sunbathe at Tropea Tropea is Calabria's favourite and best known resort, called the Pearl of the Tyrrhenian Sea. It's just an hour's drive away from Calabria's main airport, the Metia. Tropea's economy is geared up for tourism from June to September, with plenty of accommodation, bars and restaurants near the historic town centre. The beaches of Tropea are situated below a magnificent cliff and have been voted among the most beautiful in Europe. The highest part of Tropea is a romantic old town with bars, restaurants and craft shops in narrow streets. The lower part of the town is by the sea with a small port, from which you can see the nearby Aeolian Islands. During July, Tropea hosts the Festival of Red Onions and Bluefish, representing two of Calabria's top three products. 5. Visit the Aeolian Islands by boat A three-hour boat journey enables you to visit the Aeolian Islands from the ports of Reggio and Vibo Valencia. The archipelago consists of eight islands of about 50 square miles, with Lipari being the nearest and largest island. The islands of Stromboli and Vulcano are volcanic and active and so offer open-air sulfurous water spas as well as the best vantage points for spectacular views. 6. Crotone One town that is likely to be of particular interest is Crotone, which was regarded at one time as being one of the most important cities in Europe, being made famous by the philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. 7. Visit the coast of the gods. Calabria has been very heavily influenced by ancient Greek culture, and so there are many archaeological sites to visit. The coast of the gods is a stretch of 55 kilometers of southern Tyrrhenian coastline that runs from Pizzo, Calabro to Nicotera, where the landmark of the Corno di Calabria, born of Calabria, exists. 8. The Tartufo di Pizzo. This is the first ice cream in Europe to have obtained the PGI mark, the highest accreditation awarded for high quality production. The original one was created in 1952 in Pizzo Calabro in the Grand Bar Excelsior. The dessert is made of hazelnut ice cream spread onto a layer of chocolate ice cream filled with melted chocolate and wrapped in edible sugar paper to give it the shape of a truffle. However, the only reason the dessert came to be made like this is because at a wedding of two wealthy locals, the moulds for the shaping of the ice cream had run out, and Giuseppe de Maria, known as Don Pippo, the owner of the bar at the time, had to quickly improvise. The creation was a huge success and put the bar, now called Bar Dante, as well as the whole town of Pizzo Calabro on the map. 9. Home of the Mediterranean Diet Nicotera is also the home of the Mediterranean diet where, between 1957 and 1969, the American professor Ansel Keys studied the characteristics and life expectancies of the local population and connected it to their daily consumption of local produce. As a consequence, the Mediterranean diet is now listed as an element of the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage since 2010, further protected by a law passed in 2017. 10. The City of Murals The holiday resort of Diamante is one of the most famous resorts throughout Calabria. It has 8 kilometres of sandy coastline, with the island of Turella full of colourful wild flora rising from the crystal clear sea. There are over 200 artworks exhibited along its alleyways, hence why Diamante is known as the City of Murals. Diamante is also known for its link to the production of cedar, thereby giving its name to the most famous variety of this citrus fruit, 
Schedule Licio di Diamante. Plus, it also has close ties with the Calabrian chili pepper, which is celebrated with a festival in September. Number 21. People, Music and the Arts. Well-known people born in Calabria include 1. Raph Valone, the actor born in Trapea, who played the Mafia boss in the film The Italian Job. 2. Donatella Versace, sister of Gianni mentioned earlier. 3. Elisabetta Gregoracci, top model and wife of Flavio Briatore. And an interesting story surrounds Steven Tyler, whose real name is Steven Victor Tallarico the lead singer of heavy rock band Aerosmith. You may also know of him as the father of American actress Liv Tyler. However, did you know that he has roots in the town of Cotone, in Cotone, where his father, grandfather Giovanni Tallarico was born? Number 22. Getting around Calabria. Public transport is okay in the cities and large towns, but it's not to be relied upon elsewhere in the region. Even the trains only run along the coastline and inland via Cantanzaro and Cosenza. The best way to get out and see everything that Calabria offers is by scooter or car. Number 23, the food. The weather in Calabria is very hot, especially during the summer months, and so it may not surprise you to learn that the food is hot too. Most places to eat at are very relaxed, and especially with the hot weather, casual smart is the dress code. One good sign to look out for is if the local restaurants have a good local custom. Owing to Calabria not being blessed with as many tourists as other Italian regions, the restaurants have to be good to survive in business, which helps maintain a good level of quality. Here are some examples of the type of food you can expect to sample in Calabria. 1. Pepperoncino the horn-shaped red chilli pepper is the region's unofficial symbol. Often added to tomato sauces, it adds a spicy kick to any dish. And folklore says that it also wards off the evil eye, the malacchio. As referred to previously, there's a pepperoncino festival in the town of Diamante every September. 2. Pizza is for evening dinner. Most pizzerias and restaurants don't make pizza for lunch. You have to wait for the wood-fired version in the evening, but the wait is worthwhile. The Calabrian pizza has a thin, crispy and crumbly base made of soft wheat flour, olive oil, salt, water and yeast. 3. Salumi is very popular. Many types of salumi are still made by many families in a traditional way. For example, sofrasata is a cured, flattened sausage made from pork and pepperoncino and sometimes with other spices like fennel. The type made from black pig is especially delicious. A spicy sausage that is soft and can be easily spread is called undua, that you can eat with bread, eggs, pasta and pizza. Undua originates from the town of Spilinga on the slopes of Mount Poro and the product is now origin protected. 4. Revered Red Onions Red onions grown around Trapea are origin protected DOP, and revered throughout Italy. It's also considered by many to be an aphrodisiac, antiseptic, anaesthetic, diuretic and a cure for rheumatism, colds, flus and many other illnesses, hence why it's consumed in various homemade remedies. 5. Other Specialities 1. Porcini mushrooms are grown in abundance in the region. 2. Provolone and Pecorino cheeses are produced. From the seas, cod, sardines and swordfish are very popular seafood dishes. 3. The areas along the Tyrrhenian coast are full of olive groves and citrus fruit trees, including plum and pear. 4. Local desserts include pastries sweetened with honey. 6. The Digestivo. The after dinner drink unique to Calabria is the Vecchio Amaro del Capo. It is produced in Capo Vaticano on the Tyrrhenian coast and is an amber coloured liqueur infused with aniseed, licorice, peppermint, and other herbs that's best served chilled. 
Limoncello is also served often in the form of a crema de limoncello. 7. Cedar juice. Juice derived from the Calabrian cedar tree is used by the food industry for the preparation of soft drinks and candied fruit, including the manufacture of the region's confectionery products such as creams for cakes. The juice is found in the area of Riviera del Cedri, where cedar liqueur and flavoured extra virgin olive oils are also manufactured. The fruit is considered sacred by the Jews, to the extent that rabbis of many communities come to Santa Maria del Cedro at the end of the summer to handpick the best cedars. The fruits collected are then eaten during the Feast of Sukkot, the Feast of the Tabernacles, celebrated during the first of half of October to commemorate the biblical story of the Jews crossing of the desert to escape from Egypt and reach Israel. Number 24. The Wine at least 90% of Calabria's wine production is red wine, mostly made from the Galliopo grape. The wines tend to be mainly of a higher alcohol content, with much of it sold on to cooperatives who transfer the wines to the northern Italian wine regions, who then use the wine as a blending ingredient. The main white wine is produced from the Greco de Bianco grape, named after the region's Greek origins. The most notable winemaking region of Calabria with DOC accreditation is Chiro, that produces red wines that tend to be full bodied with strong fruity flavours. The Greco de Bianco region for white wines makes its wine with partially dried grapes, giving it a deep amber colour with a citrus like herbal taste. Vivongi is where mostly rose blends come from, together with some dry white wines. There are many other wines produced in Calabria, however. Calabria is not regarded as a main wine producer in Italy, as to date not one of their wines has been afforded DOCG status. So there you have it over the two videos, 24 amazing, helpful and fun facts about the Calabria region in Italy that I hope you found to be of help and of interest. If you're serious about visiting or working and living in Calabria, I highly recommend that you download and read your special guide entitled you can start a brand new life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below, and then please share with friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.